Uh, this is the last day we're seeing a little humidity. It, I mean, it's still hot out. It is. And it's, it's not bad if you're just sitting or in the shade, but once you get out and do a little work, I mean, even with the low humidity, you sweat. It's still going to break a sweat. By no means is it cool outside. No. Uh, but this weekend, back to reality. The humidity is going to come back Yeah, up. we're going to long for this <laughs> I know. lower humidity. And I don't see any kind of relief coming in the near future either okay. with any break in the humidity, unless you get some rain developing over your area. And no rain out there expected for today, but that also might change as the humidity goes back up this weekend. Right now, though, part of the cloudy skies, there was some uh, high cloudiness across the area. Temperatures 88 degrees. The dew point still in the 60s, although it is coming up a little higher at 68 degrees. It does feel like 92 out there with some light winds currently coming out of the northeast at 8 miles per hour. North of the lake 84 to 86 from Hammond Sled L, 86 also reserved. Homa, you're at 88 degrees now with 87 in Bell Chase. And those dew point numbers, for the most part, mid to upper 60s across southeast Louisiana, a little lower up in Macomb as you go farther to the north and Gulfport, a 59 degree dew point. So when you're in the 60s, that's what I consider humid. Heading into the weekend, sweaty and gross dew points in the 70s are expected out there, and that's actually what it's supposed to be for this time of year, not this dry, beautiful weather we've had out there for late. So becoming more humid as we go throughout the afternoon, already starting to feel that now. There's dew point numbers now in the upper 60s. Hot and humid this weekend, but we will have to dodge a couple thunderstorms, and next week, hot and daily afternoon storms coming from the sea breeze, our normal weather pattern we're going into as we head into uh, next week. So here's what we have now, the low humidity. That is going to move away southeast. The winds bring up that high humidity from the Gulf of Mexico. This will continue all weekend and really for the foreseeable future. Now we just have those high clouds coming in. You've noticed a few of those low clouds kind of building up across the North Shore and the South Shore as well, too. And we'll continue seeing some of these through the afternoon. Kind of a partly cloudy day expected out there. Our old front's going to retreat back to the north as a warm front. This is kind of the leading edge of the really humid air already coming into play into Houston, the Lake Charles area. We'll feel the brunt of that as we get into tomorrow morning. When you wake up, definitely much muggier out there. As high pressure moves away from us, that allows that subtly flow to come in on the backside of that high, and that brings back the humidity. It would also allow for some showers and storms to pop up. 20 to 30 percent chance of rain this weekend, 30 to 40 percent chance next week, and that basically it accounts for those typical afternoon variety thunderstorms we're known for seeing during the summer months. Now for today, again, just those partly cloudy skies heading from now into the afternoon. This is showing some rain out there. I don't think we'll see any rain, but we will see those temperatures in the upper. 80s to right around the lower 90s. By this evening, if we're going out to dinner, lower to mid 80s, and then by 10 o'clock tonight, still 80 in the city, just about 70s elsewhere. But then tomorrow morning, not going to be near as cool as we were this morning on the North Shore. No lower 60s. Instead, about 10 degrees warm in the lower 70s, mid 70s across the metro area. And with the heating of the day tomorrow, we'll even get to even toastier weather as we go to the afternoon hours. As the southerly winds return, here come some showers developing by lunchtime. This is the sea breeze. We'll continue to see some spotty showers showers and storms throughout the day tomorrow, about a 30% chance. They'll dissipate as we get to about 10 o'clock and then heading